What's up guys? Welcome to episode 5 of Minecraft Survival Edition on our channel. Now, before we get into anything, let me go ahead and say I have actually done a lot of work off camera, mostly because a lot of it was tedious searching and finding and I just didn't want to fill up a whole episode with me going out and looking for a certain thing, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. I did update quite a few different things. I expanded on a couple different things. And right now we're kind of up to par with where I want to be. Um, so that the next few episodes we can focus on building our base. It won't happen this episode because this episode I really want to kind of do an update as far as what all I have done. And as far as one little project that I want to get done at the end of today. And then once we do that next episode then we should be able to start building our base once i do some more off-camera resource gathering now the mine uh the actual mine where i went looking for diamonds and such i expanded it come down here just follow all the the cobblestone i found a nice little ravine here so that'll be explorable eventually i'm trying to remember which way which way to go i think we go up here it's been a little while since I've been here. Yeah, go up here, go down here. Got to follow this path a little bit. And I don't know if you heard that, but it's thundering outside right now. So it's actually a pretty good day to record and stay inside. Uh, but there's another ravine access here that I have gotten to a little bit. But not a whole lot down here as well. Just a lot of explorable area for our mine system. And actually, I think I'm lost now. Because I'm pretty sure I made a vein, or a strip mine, I mean, somewhere. Crap. Now I gotta find my way back. Yeah. Uh, it's up somewhere. What the hell? Anyway. I'll find it eventually. There we are. Alright, so yeah, this is the mine. Could have sworn that I made a strip mine. Maybe I'm thinking about another world. But the mine's been expanded. We got a lot of resource that we can possibly gather down here. Uh, as you know, this mine is just for the higher level stuff. It's not really for the the regular. That is where I came from, right? Yeah, okay. It's not really for the stone and the coal and that kind of stuff, but we can get all that if we need to. Because I still have my stone mine, which I'll show you. And anyway, I made a nice little short entrance. Leads right out to where our base is at. The stone mines over there, it hasn't really changed a whole lot. Um, so I added this little side entrance down here to make it a little bit easier. If we need more of a stone type uh, resource gathering, we can do it up there. But anyway, let me get into some of the other stuff that I've been doing. Uh, as far as bigger builds, I expanded the home base. And before I turn around and show you, uh, I went exploring, and over this ridge over there, there is a village, which was amazing because it had both carrots and potatoes, which is what I was severely lacking. And speaking of food, I need to eat. Um, so I think I got like three carrots, and I got like almost a stack and a half of potatoes. Like they had a lot of potatoes. Uh, they had some bookcases. They had, I think that I think that was the main thing that I got from there. So. I expanded our farms. I managed to find a couple chickens. Uh, a couple chickens were roaming around over there. Uh, the I found like two bunnies, which happened to be over this ridge on that area over there. And then over there is a pig. And I think I found some pigs like not too far over that way in the mountain areas when I was when I saw the the village. I had climbed this mountain, gotten up to the top peak just so I could see what was around. And I saw the village was kind of over that way, so I went and explored that. Uh, so I managed to lure them all back here. It took me quite a while. Penned them up. Got them going. So we got our seeds, our chicken items, chests ready to go. I haven't been breeding any any uh, rabbits or pigs because I have a shortage on, on carrots right now. So the carrots and rabbit meat is there. 
Same thing with carrots and pork. It's all here. And I'm sure you noticed I rebuilt our temporary base. Because I was running out of space. I was getting too many items. I decided to rebuild it, revamp it, make it look nice and neat. Use some of the new uh, blocks. Added our furnaces over here still. Made chests. Made everything nice and organized. Ores, torches, coal. That's all kind of near the furnace, which is good. Uh, then over here we have food, wood items, stone items, cobble, dirt, gravel, and sand. I'm sure that'll get replaced eventually. Like I said, I found some bookcases in the village. And I managed to make ourselves a little enchantment section right here. Once we finally get that, we can plop that right there. Um, got our monster drops, redstone, glowstone, miscellaneous items, weapons and armor, uh, andesite, gran uh, granite and diorite. It's all there on the side. So everything's very nice and organized now. We have a nice window out to the base so that eventually we'll be able to see it. And that's something else I got to show you guys in a little bit. But... Another thing I expanded on, like I said, was the animals. So, over here past the tree farm, I made another little section. And as you can see, I've been breeding the, the, the sheep. Uh, and I've been breeding the cows that I got so far. So, eventually we'll be able to get a lot of different bookcases and stuff with the leather that, uh, leather that I get from these guys. And actually, I need to go ahead and, and start... Uh, Rock chest. I need to start breeding again. Uh, so we'll shear some sheep, get wool, and we'll also breed them. And then we'll do the same thing to the cows. But yeah, a lot of this stuff was very tedious type of work. And I know some people like to see it, but for me, I'd rather see the main projects. Um, I'd rather see the stuff that's important to the world. So that's why I decided to hold off on, on recording that. Alright, you two. Whoa, no, no. You, you, and you two. Alright. So. Oh! Hey! What the heck? Get your butts back here. Get back in here. What the heck is wrong with you? You know what? Lord does not approve. Now you guys need to get your butts back in there. So you know what? Get your butt back in there. You. Go. Go. Go back. Thank you. That's why I didn't put the pressure plates on the inside. It's only on the outside. I wonder how they got out, though. That's kind of weird. Eh, whatever. You guys saw it. It happened. Actually, I'll, I'll take that for the food chest. Uh, so, yeah. Now, we're on to the last part of our show and tell for today. At least for the updates. It's going to be on the main base. And I already kind of told you what I did. But I'll show you exactly what I expanded upon. Um, over here. Food monster drops are there all right so we're good so like i said i expanded some things here on the platform as you can see i haven't really harvested any of the wheat um mainly because i have an excess of wheat right now and i don't really need it but i did do the idea that i was talking about as you can see i expanded it even more around the sides here and there. This side is carrots. Like I said, I, I don't really have a whole lot going on with carrots right now, so I'm waiting for that to to expand. They gave me a crap ton of potatoes, so I've been I've been planting these. So eventually, uh, this will expand all the way to the edge of the platform over here, which I think is good. So that that's actually not too far off. And the last thing I did was I added some chests right here just for immediate storage so we can put our potatoes in two of these uh, wheat will go in the first two over here carrots will go in the last two over there and it's all nice and organized out that way we don't need to worry about moving it very far because eventually all our stuff will be on the platform here right so 
like I said, next episode, we'll start planning out our design for the platform base house type build. Uh, but as far as today, the end of the episode, I kind of wanted to do a small little project to see if I can finish it out today. And as soon as I sleep, I will let you guys know exactly what that is. It's not too big of a project. It won't take us too, too long, I don't think. But it's just something I didn't want to just do a video where I, where I tell you guys what all I did off camera. I mean, that's not really very much fun. So, uh, we're going to do... As you can see, and I can move that over there because I can move that. Okay. As you can see right here, this is going to be our pumpkin farm area. So I need to kind of plan it out a little bit. I need seven spaces from here, starting here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that going to... Is that going to crap out anything? No, that's actually perfect. Okay. So, I'll clear out the land. And once I'm done clearing out the land, you'll see a speed through of it. And afterwards, we'll start planning it out more. See you in just a minute, guys. guys so basically what I did here is I put a single space here for all our water then I made a nice little pathway around seeds are gonna go on the on the inside layer pumpkins will grow on the outside layer and that's how that's gonna work so the next part is basically getting all our water and filling in so Hopefully everybody has enjoyed this series so far guys and I just really wanted to take a moment and say thank you because it's because of you guys that episode one of this series has reached over 100 views now and that's awesome guys like I I never anticipated any of my videos really reaching 100 views but and actually I had no idea that it was the second video to reach 100 views because one of my early videos has been on for so long that it, it passed 100 views at almost about the same time that this one did, but this one reached it much faster. So uh, I just really wanted to say thank you guys very much. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given on this series so far, and it really means a lot to me. So uh, if you guys keep enjoying the series, I'll keep it going as long as you guys want to see it. So um, yeah, I just really wanted to take a second and say thank you, and uh, just that I appreciate everything that you guys do for me, and uh, it makes this very fun. And without you guys, it wouldn't be fun. So uh, again, thank you. So here we go, guys. We're just going to plan out. I don't even know how many spaces this was. It was 18 spaces, so it's not bad. And then eventually, if we have any watermelons, we can put them, you know, uh, mess this row up, not have pumpkins, and we can put melons there. So that will take care of tonight, or today's episode, not tonight. Uh, today's episode. Got the pumpkin farm going. So we'll have yet another form of food, hopefully eventually with uh, pumpkin pie. And yeah, so I think that does it for today. Let me double check. I think that's everything that I needed to show you guys today. Let's throw some eggs. Hopefully we get a chicken. And nope, we don't. Okay. So like I said, guys, thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Check out some of my other series if you haven't yet. Currently I'm doing White Knight. It's a Halloween game. Uh... I'm having quite a bit of fun with it. The second episode has a lot of rageful funnies. So check that out. Hopefully you guys will, will laugh a little bit. And yeah, so I'll be seeing you guys in episode number six when we actually start building our base or at least planning out the design, I guess. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. I'm planning on doing a uh, comment wall. So I'm going to start going back through all the other videos. I'm going to pick somebody's comment. If you haven't commented on the other videos yet, please do so. I'm going to take my favorite comment, I'm going to post it up on a wall, I'm going to make a wall somewhere for a comment wall, and if you guys want to be immortalized forever, your name will go on the wall. So thank you guys so much, I'll see you in episode 6.
Thank you.